welcome. Thanks for joining us. We've got open air baseball for you on the show. It's the Chicago Cubs taking on the Miami Marlins. First pitch coming your way next. Just a little bit away from first pitch, towing the slab in today's game. Sandy Alcantara, last year's Cy Young Award winner in the National League, singing. Well, Brooke, he was healthy last year and gained a tremendous amount of confidence. He took a big step forward last season. I think he'll take another one this season. Here's the second baseman, Nico Horner. The second baseman, Nico Horner. And the pitch. That's in there. And we're off and rolling in Miami. Next offering is in for a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball. 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Righty delivers. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. That misses, and that's ball one. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six or seven pitches on one hitter. Bounce back to the mound. He caught it behind his back. And that's a great play for the out. Dansby Swanson stands in. And first offering is fouled off. Dansby Swanson's turned into one of the best defensive shortstops in baseball, Chris. And a lot of the help came from Ron Washington, but Dansby put in the work. One down, base is empty. That one down the line. Arise. Oh. Takes it to the bag. Quick start to this afternoon's action. Two gone. Ian Happ up to hit. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. 0-2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get beat here. This is a good time for something off-speed away. 0-2 now. Bounce to the left side. Oh, and foul ball. The wind and the pitch. Going to count one and two. Two strikes. And that one is lifted in the air and makes the grab. And that ends the inning. Cubs are down. Back here at the ballpark and towing the slab, Justin Steele. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he's been a very dependable starter for his club. And what stands out for me is that left-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 against him. And it just tells me they have a hard time tracking the baseball. Maybe it's the release point. Maybe it's the motion. But just some way, somehow, they've got to figure out a way to pick it up and try to have some success from the left side. Swings and misses. And that is strike two. That one lifted to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Hey, man, four pitches, two outs. That is an excellent pace. Lifted in the air, right field. Suzuki makes the catch inning over. Nothing doing for the Marlins. We played an inning. No score.
Welcome back. Now it's the right fielder, Seiya Suzuki. Alcantara back to work. Just oh, right missed. Alcantara, the reigning Cy Young Award winner, he features a changeup, a sinker, a four seamer, a slider, and he occasionally uses a curve. Dave Lawrence behind the plate today, consistent and pretty accurate with the balls and strikes. Yeah, he's one of those guys, Spook, that just keeps the game moving. Nothing overly unique about the strike zone that he calls, and as a result, he's appreciated by both sides. Here's Cody Bellinger. And first offering is fouled off. Cody Bellinger, no stranger to the big stage. He played in the 2007 Little League World Series. He's the 14th player ever to play in both the Little League World Series and the Major League World Series. And here it comes. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Second inning here, no score. Runs it up to 96 to record the punch out. Patrick Wisdom, the next to hit. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh and, and a swing and a miss there. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Suzuki stands at first with one out. Got it by him for the K. It's all interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him into scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. And he deals. Aye. That one ran inside, almost got him. Straighten him up a little bit. Two balls, two strikes to count with two outs. The pitch. Hosmer tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. And Matthew Ross right on it, says he held up. And a pitch. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. In the air to left, down the line. And a foul ball. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. In the dirt. That's out number three. They get a leadoff single. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Now it's the veteran outfielder, Jorge Soler. The pitch. He swings and fouls one off. And he'll one. Fly ball down the line. Here comes a pitch. And ball one. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. At the belt and fires. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Bellinger makes the grab. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now.
And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Some nuggets on Jazz Chisholm. He's from the Bahamas, and he was born in 1998, signed with the Diamondbacks in 2015. Before he can make his Major League debut, though, Arizona traded Jazz to Miami for Zach Gallen. He made his debut the following season, and then in 2022, he became an all-star. The 0-2. Swing and a ball lifted left field. Half. Makes the play, and it's out number three. And welcome back. On to the third inning, and now Edwin Rios. Alcantara back to work. There's a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late. And the 0-2. Ah, that hit him. And the leadoff man is aboard to start the inning. As a hitter, I'll take that all day long. An off-speed pitch, it's not going to rattle your cage too much. Here's Jan Gomes. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Line drive. Could be extra bases. Around second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. He'll score, and it's 1-0. And he's in at third with an RBI triple. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. The 0-1. There's the strike. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Here's the 0-2. Swings and misses, struck him out. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Come back to the mound. To first, and he beats it. One down. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ian Happ. 0 for 1, he flied out to right this first trip. There's a strike. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. Tried to check his swing. Appeal to third. And yes, he did. He went around. And a pitch. 99 miles per hour to finish him off. Came after him with the fastball on 0-2, and that's a pretty good demonstration of what power pitching is all about. He's got the stuff, obviously, and... Right there, he used it to put his opponent away without needing to waste any pitches. Suzuki can't hold up, and that's a strike. That's off the mark. One ball, one strike. There's the swing and a miss. The baseball's coming out of his hand very well. He's been able to paint all four corners, but really good ride at the top of his... And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. We head back here in Low Depot Park. Here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. And the pitch. Oh, look at the stop. To first. Got him. Great play to keep the leadoff man off base. Brian De La Cruz, the next up for the Marlins. Ground ball up the middle. Tosses to first. And two straight set down to begin the bottom of the third. Here's Garrett Hampson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Swing and a miss. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters... Got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Can't connect on the curveball. Struck him out. And the mark. Back here in Miami, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And set to lead off the fourth, Cody Bellinger. And he pumps it a strike. In 2019, Cody Bellinger became the first Dodger player ever to collect the MVP, the Gold Glove, 
and the Silver Slugger in the same season. Next offering is fouled back. Field two. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. Had him out front for strike three. Patrick Wisdom, the next Cub to hit. In there for strike one. And that one off the outside edge. It's a 1-1. One -one. That one fouled off. Got him swinging. No messing around with the pitch calling in that sequence right there. Four pitches, all fastballs. Yeah, and that makes me think that was the plan before the at-bat even started. If you think you can simply just beat a guy with only your fastball, why throw him anything else until he shows you he can handle it? And the righty deals. Pulls the string with the changeup, struck him out. I think the key is arm action on the changeup. When you can sell it like a fastball, you drop the velocity, you get the swing and mess, and you walk off the field. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go, bottom four. John Birdie at the plate. The pitch. Out towards right center field, and it falls. And the leadoff man aboard. And now it's Garrett Cooper up to him. He's 0 for 1. And that one just misses a ball and no strikes. And fouled off. Well, here's a good opportunity in this inning to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit and hardly order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Next offering is in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Mm. Just misses there. Man. Oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Line drive and a base hit right there. Just kind of sliced that one into center. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Arise. Swings through it for strike one. In the air, left side. And that will fall. You know, I was watching his rounds during batting practice today. So impressed with his ability to let the ball travel, go back up the middle and the other way. Sometimes when you step in the box during the game, you get a little anxious and you get away from that. But so far, I've seen him stay consistent with his pregame preparation. Ground ball left side could be two. Over to second for one. They get the out, but the run scores on the twin killer. Gene Segura at the plate here. Glide out his first time. Fly ball to right. He's under it. And that will end the inning. Welcome back. Ready now for the fifth inning. Edwin Rios here. And the pitch. Just missed. You know, these Cubs, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. Right-hander kicks deals. And that one fouled off. One and two now. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Smash to the left side. Segura throw to first. One up, one down. 
Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Gomes, the next to hit, takes outside. The next pitch misses, ball two. Swung on, belted. Back there. Gone. Jan Gomes takes him deep. It's his sixth home run of the season. Just like that, they move in front. It's 2 1. Singy, he's been red hot. Yeah, another big swing of the bat for him. Man, he has really seen the ball well in this one. Here's Nico Horner. Horner, a guy who grew up in the Bay Area, was a huge fan of those late 80s, early 90s Oakland A's teams with Ricky Henderson and company. And Nico loved getting a chance to not only go watch Oakland play, but also the San Francisco Giants. Pitch misses, and a count two and one. And that's in there at the knees. The other way, he makes the catch, and there's two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run, not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter, and a tough one at that. Swanson stands in with two away as he takes a ball. That's in for a strike. High fly ball out to center field. Chisholm has this one sized up. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Cubs get one on the solo shot. And the home team down to run. Back after. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And now for the Marlins, Jazz Chisholm Jr. The pitch. Swing and a ball popped up. High bounce, and he bare hands it. Wow, he got him. What a play. And here's the catcher, Nick Fortes. First offering misses the mark. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. And here it comes. And a swing and a line drive at a right field. Two away. And up next for Miami, Brian De La Cruz. Next pitch has popped up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that's the inning. And one, two, three, go the Marlins. And they trail it here, two to one. Back here at Lone Depot Park. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. So up now for Chicago, Ian Happ. There's a strike. Half a switch hitter. It can be challenging for guys at the big league level to maintain a good swing from both sides of the plate. Clearly, he's got more pop from the left side, but in 2022, the right side was respectable as well. The next pitch has popped up. Hampson makes the grab one away. So up next, Seiya Suzuki. That one's in there on one. Suzuki goes five feet 11 inches 180 pounds and he was born in Japan the pitch struck him out looking and up to the plate comes Cody Bellinger struck out on just three pitches last time in the air right field pretty well struck that's back there and it's caught just in front of the wall. Nothing doing. Bottom of the sixth inning. Leading off, Garrett Hampson. And a pitch. And he grounds one to the right side. Over to Hosmer. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth.
when a guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter, you've got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you've got to take what he's offering that day. And a couple of quick outs. Now the number two hitter, Garrett Cooper. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Swing and a base hit. Waste no time there. Nice line drive to the pull side. Met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Luis Arise stands in. And first offering is fouled off. Cooper leads off first with two down to the inning. That one the other way. They get the force, and that is that. All set for the start of the inning. And here's the DH for the Cubs, Patrick Wisdom. And the right hander back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Misses off the outside edge. Gets a piece and stays alive. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Next one just misses. The count now two and two. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Here's Hosmer. First pitch, just misses. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball. Manager out of the dugout now. Looks like we'll see a change on the mound. So the Marlins go with a new arm, A.J. Puck. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Kicks and deals. Ground ball to the right side. He steps on the bag, and that quickly two away. Edwin Rios, the next Cub to hit. Swings through that one, 0-1. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. And a foul ball. That one drifts inside. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. And the Cubs are down. Bottom of the inning. Jorge Soler up at the plate. The pitch. And delivers outside. The Cubs bullpen with some action. Keegan Thompson getting ready to go. Alzali getting loose as well. And that one pulled foul. And one and two. Well, pretty clear to me. He's trying to go deep right there. But you got to get a pitch that you can handle. 
Up the middle. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seventh. Here's the third baseman, Gene Segura. In the air, left field down the line. And that is a foul ball. Trying to steal a first pitch strike with the breaking ball right there, but he was all over it in the box. Kind of sets up an interesting at bat the rest of the way. A little chess match here. Corner makes the grab. Two down. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now at the plate. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Here comes the manager out of the cup. Mark Leiter Jr. on to pitch here. These are the spots relievers really make a name for themselves. Late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. And there's a base hit to right field. So that's two straight, two out hits. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. First pitch fastball in a great spot to do some damage, and he squared it up nicely. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Next to hit, Brian De La Cruz. That smash towards center. Diving, makes the grab. And welcome back. We go to the eighth, and now Jan Gomes. Here comes a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. And there's a strike. Jan Gomes waits. Swing and a miss as he chases that one darting out of the zone. And the one two misses to even the count. The 2 2 on the way. Broken bat, roll it to first. And he takes it himself for the out. Good late life on that inside fastball. Ran in on the hands and got that weak contact. Little slow grounder to get the out. Horner stands in now and watches strike one. And it's one and one. Kicks and fires. Bounce to third. Segura sends it across the first. Two up, two down here in the top of the eighth. Two outs, space is empty. And next for the Cubs, Dansby Swanson. And that's in there for strike one. There's the strike. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Swings through that, and it's a strikeout. And good work there. Back here in Miami. And the wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. You know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. That one the other way. And there's a hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff nod. Hey, whatever works, right? Doesn't have to be impressive. Not much he can do about that one on the mound. Made a good pitch inside and jammed him. He just found a way to fight it off the other way and make it work. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Bellinger makes the grab. Now here's the Marlins DH, Garrett Cooper. Swing and a miss. 0-1. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. Now the 0-1. 
And he chases a high fastball there. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. Add some velocity to it on the next pitch. Can't catch up. The swing and a soft liner. That's a hit. Lead runner around second. Throw comes in quickly, and the tying run forced to hold on at third with one away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. He kind of muscled that one out there, didn't get the barrel with it, but the important part was that he found a way to stay through the baseball and just drop it into center field. So now it just comes down. Line drive. Bellinger makes the play. Runner tagging from third. The throws offline. He's safe. It's 2-2. Sometimes that can be a little tough to score on. It was hit so hard that getting back to the bag, the tag, takes a little bit of time by the time that outfielder catches it, but a really good job of getting that run in from third. So here's the cleanup hitter, Jorge Soler. The other way, and it's just foul. That was close. Two outs. Fought off foul. Back and forth we go. A seesaw battle in the late stages of this one. Next offering is foul back. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. So up now for Chicago, Ian Happ. There's a strike. Well, we call that keyholing. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Right side, hard hit. Birdie fires over to first. Now one gone in the ninth. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Seiya Suzuki. Went down looking on three pitches last time. Let's see if he can be a little more aggressive right here. The 1-0. -oh. That clips the corner. Strike two. And that's downstairs and outside. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. And a foul ball. Here's a 2 2. And a good eye there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free pass. New pitcher for the Marlins, Dylan Floro. He's been so good against lefties. Right-handed reliever. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch. And I'll tell you what, he earned that walk. Bellinger in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. 
And there's the strike. Well, the hitter shows the pitcher that he's willing to go after that pitch down in the zone. So perhaps he'll come back to it. Still try to get that ground ball double play. So now one and two. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. And up next for Chicago, Patrick Wisdom. First offering, and it just misses. Righty delivers. That one's in there, and it's one and two. ball they tried to get him to go chase the pitch down and away but he wouldn't bite he's going, runner he's takes going, off going. next offering is foul back two gone the possible go-ahead run at first and a swing and a miss that ends the frame we head to the bottom of the night and at the play for Miami Gene Segura and he deals. That smack down a line to center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Great swing of the bat right there. Trying to get on is that go-ahead run. He just wasn't able to find a hole. And first offering is fouled off. Left-hand hitter waits. That one is absolutely belted. And it one hops the wall. Makes it to second. The winning runs in scoring position with one gone. All over that one right there. Pretty much just a textbook double into the gap. And when you can drop one in there between the outfielders, you know you're making the turn at first. Just an excellent swing. Winning run in scoring position now, so a clutch A-B could end this one. So Brad Boxberger rolls into the game. He's pitching on two days rest. He'll one. And it's fouled away. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Now the left fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. Ripped on the ground a second. That's the third out. Back here at Lone Depot Park. New inning getting started. And now the first baseman, Eric Hosmer. Swing and a foul straight back. Runner leads away at second. And that one fouled off. Going two now. Checks his swing. Now would appeal to third. No, he held up. Righty to the plate. Fouls it off. Still one and two. We're always having a tough time getting a pitch by him. As a hitter, you feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Two and two stays alive. Man at second. That's a really good take. And a three two. Got it by him for the K. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the chance. Pitching change here, Tanner Scott. This southpaw has been really good against left-handed hitters. Number 
Jesus. Enter. God. Rios up to bat next, lays off for a ball. That misses the zone, and that's ball two. One out, the go-ahead run is at second. Next one misses, and it's 3-0. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 counts, Boo, they're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that, but... Ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. Can't field it cleanly to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. Really important at bat coming up now. Now it's Jan Gomes going one. Next offering is fouled back. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And a pitch. In the air, right field. He's under it. Hauls it in for the out. So the lineup flips over, and here is Nico Horner. On the ground, Hampson rolls across the diamond, third out, and that ends the frame. Welcome back. On to the bottom of the 10th. Now it's the shortstop, Garrett Hampson. Boxberger back to work. Swing and a miss, and he got him to chase. So a big opportunity here with the score tied and that runner on second to start the bottom of the inning. Yeah, and you know they're eager to cash in. You just don't want to come out of your shoes and make a mistake. Got to play this smart. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Michael Fulmer throwing and getting ready for David Ross. Rucker getting cranked up as well. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. On the ground to the left. Fires across the diamond, and they get the leadoff man in the 10. Now it's the second baseman, John Birdie. First offering misses badly for ball one. Winning run stands at second. Swing and a miss. And a count even one and one. And the pitch. On the ground to third. Zips it across, and that is out number two. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Line drive, base hit. The throw home. And he's out. Cut down, and that ends the inning. And welcome back. 11th inning. Matt Barnes gets the nod out of the bullpen. He pitched yesterday, and we'll see him once again.
pitch foul back our way and that's out of play here comes the 0-1 that's a ball I got one ball one break that clips the corner Three. goes down looking Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. He's under it. Pulls it down, and there are two away. Now the batter now, Seiya Suzuki. And ball one to the right fielder. Up and in, and now 2 0. Oh. The pitch. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. 3 0 down. Ground ball right side. Dives, and he can't hang on. Safe at first as they can't make the play. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. Bellinger up to hit. Here's the pitch. Both runners on the move. One attempt misses. They put the tag on him. The squeeze attempt fails. And that and back here at extras. And a new pitcher on the. And here's the first baseman, Luis Arias, known for his late inning heroics. And the pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. In the air, out towards right center. And it's into the gap. Cooper headed for the plate. Across is the winning run, and the Marlins walk it off in the 11. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact, and the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. Final score in this one. A one run extra inning win for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.